Hello and welcome to this tutorial on understanding the rate map within the Bureau of Crime Statistics and Research crime mapping tool. The rate map offers a visual representation of crime rates occurring across New South Wales. You should always refer to the title to see what the map is showing. The title will update each time a selection is made. Unless you have selected a specific year, the map will show you the latest available 12-month period of data. You can change the 12 month period by selecting the year drop down box on the top right. The colour coded legend on the left hand side explains the rates. The darker the colour, the higher the rate. If you want to know the specific rate for a location, then simply click on it and a pop up window will appear with a trend and rate displayed. There are two ways to select locations. The first is by using the geographical text box on the top right. This option is most useful if you need to switch geographical types. By default, the geographical type is set to LGAs. If you want postcodes or suburbs, type your selection into the field on the top right or pick from the drop down menu. You cannot, however, select LGAs, suburbs, or postcodes as a category. So if you're not after a specific location and would instead like to look more generally at the data for a specific geographical type, then randomly make a selection at the desired level. This will switch the geographical type displayed in the rate map. The second way to select locations is to simply use your cursor to click on the desired location. You can also deselect locations by re-clicking on that location. You can select as many locations as you desire with each appearing with a blue highlight. This is also listed at the top of the table view or tab, which is useful for comparing rates. There are zooming features located at the bottom right. You can zoom in and out of the map using the plus and minus buttons. This might be useful if you want to know any geographical features within an area you are investigating, such as streets, suburbs, open areas, train stations and tracks. This feature is however most useful when looking at smaller geographical areas, such as suburbs or postcodes. It's especially useful if you are only interested in one location. I recommend using the hotspots map to explore this level of detail. If you're interested in how to use this feature, have a look at the hotspots maps tutorial. You can print or save this map by selecting the buttons on the top left. Printing works best in landscape. For further information on the other available features, please watch our YouTube tutorials or refer to the user guide available through the question mark button on the top left corner of the map. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful and have fun exploring the tool.